is 757. It's the best podcast on the East Coast. No limit, you Oh, my God. You have a schedule. That's a little schedule. If you want to see... All right, so let's take the podcast. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. God damn. That, and it was just so... And it's real. I'm going to sit in that bitch like that. You know? I'm going to sit black ass. You want a fortress. Dreadhead. Damn. No Limit Podcast with Shogun d So you said it back. Let me, let's start this over. Time and time again, we come back with the best of the best in the biz. Y'all already seen first season, so you actually already know what the name is. But for the ones that don't, we are the No Limit Podcast. G-O-D. I'm talking about P-U-A because unemployment <laughs> didn't save more niggas than Jesus around this bitch. <laughs> set it off. Set it off. I'm trying to tell you right now, God damn it. You already know what it is, ladies and gentlemen of the 757. This is the best podcast on the East Coast. Y'all are now tuned in to the No Limit Show with your guy just said D-Lo the Shogun and we got a room full of superstars, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I heard all over Alabama, Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Introduce y'all sales, fellas. Man, it's Dope Boy Juice, man. Straight from Huntsville, Alabama. Hunts Vegas, man. Okay, then. It's the one and only LSB. You know what I'm saying? Light-skinned motherfucking Bobby. Okay, then. Okay, then. So, what I heard around the street is y'all got a We Outside tour. 
you know what I'm saying, for the DMV area. You know what I'm saying? Is that like, is that first time for everything? Like, do y'all do that every year or what was going on? Well, honestly, this is the fourth we outside. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We been from the ground up, you know, making this shit like really like a, a, a more than a motion picture, you know what I'm saying? History being made right before your eyes, you know what I'm saying? You part of history right now. So, like you know that. what I'm saying? Just the way that my man, you know, Wood was telling you, like when you when you in a room, you can feel people's energy and they aura. You know what I'm saying? When when a real nigga doing what he supposed to be doing, you should know, like you should know the difference between this and that. You feel me? So that's why my man felt a little offensive earlier. And, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you playing us like we little Ray Ray in the, in the damnations or some shit. You feel me? So you know, no disrespect, but but just moving forward, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing this shit four years strong. You know what I'm saying? I've been there since day one. We started in five cities. Then okay. the second year, we did 10 cities. Last year, we did 15. And next year, we double up and did 25. Okay. So, you know, the DMV part of it is the first branch of the big tree that we finna accomplish. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out my brothers, Brad Winner Kane. Shout out my brother, Sauce Will Winning, Nisi J, PBE Pluto. You know what I'm saying? We got family right here. Huntsville, Thanks. Alabama right here. You know what I'm saying? So, we just... Making this shit something that we could pass on to generation to generation, man. So y'all really is watching history. So you know, Thanks. just stay tuned. Before we before we jump in, before we jump into another question, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know how I get with artists. I'ma say that's my bad. I should have did a little bit more research. You gotta do your when research. when when it came to the We Outside tour. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was just like boom, they coming. They gonna be here for 24 hours. Make something happen. And I was like. I I do my best, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my fault. I'm definitely found new, four new artists to listen to, different music, different type of sounds. I was already vibing in there earlier before we started the show. So, yeah. Cause we ain't even go in my R&B bag, you know what I'm saying? I'm R&B around the rapper, too? so I, listen, I'm an R&B singer first. But I got I got, I got, got what you're looking for, no matter what it yes. is. You feel me? I go in any kind of pocket, any kind of bag, any kind of room, and pipe that motherfucker up. Me so, also. but we do it for the women though, for real, for real. We were a while with it. Okay, as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying they got the chains on, they got the everything flash and everything like that. So I, I see y'all, I see y'all stepping for real, for real. But you said Alabama, so when when did you know this was it for you? I'm from Alabama, so um, man, just going over through the time, like I said, we ain't. I've been doing this for over five years, you know what I'm saying? So. Man, everything a process, man. We still grinding. You know, job ain't finished. You know what I'm saying? We grinding every day. Like you said, we got 25 cities, man. We can we ain't coming to play. Okay. Okay. So, but I'm saying, like, when did you know rapping was it for you? I said about 17. 17? Okay. Yeah. Um, basically, I was already part of, like, a little situation with dealing with the music, but I never was a rapper. And my people just kept telling me to rap. So, I ended up trying it, and actually, they pursued me to push it. That's how it happened, for real. I ain't never thought about being a rapper. So you had almost like a little baby uh, Let me stop saying rapper, too. I'm an artist, because I got R&B shit, too, and I got all that for the ladies. I'm with that, for real. So just knowing and finding my gift, man, it made me go hard and just dive in. I like that. I like that. So we're going we gonna to take another step, too, because y'all all got unique names. Can y'all explain the names? Like, where, where, <laughs> where, did, the, where did the names come from? Uh... Man, mine's dope boy juice is just like what it sound, man. I always been kinda like had my own swag, fly, you feel me? Had my own little stuff going on in the streets also growing up, you know what I'm saying? So it kinda just fell into purpose. Like my uncle gave me the juice man name when I was like three years old and he passed away, my great uncle. So just it's happened natural for real, bro. Growing up so I had about three different names before this one, you feel me? But oh, this okay. one stuck to me. It was like the first six months of my career. And I and I think that's part of artist development as well. Like, you know, finding yourself and finding who you want to be and how you want to be as no, an artist. Thanks. You want to switch up three, four times. I know I switched up three, four times, and I know a lot of artists switch up. So what about you, Light Skin Bobby? Because that, that name is wild. I got to know. <laughs> Man, I was in Miami 2015 doing a show in front of 5,000 people. It was my first time, like, really in Miami for a show. And it was doing Art Basel. And um, after I killed it, you know what I'm saying, I was going by my government, Breon, FPMG at the time. And they was like, nah, nigga, you got to stop calling yourself that because 
what we just seen was some light skinned Bobby Brown type shit, and it just stuck like that. So next year be my ten year, ten year anniversary of being light skinned Bobby. You know what I'm saying? Like That's the people, the people name me. I ain't name myself. Ten. So it, it mean it means so much. Yeah, ten yeah. years. We working on album six and seven right now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, putting a lot of work in, a lot of dedication, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So we don't play about none of this shit. Okay, so you working on album six and seven? Let me ask you this: Can you can you tell a difference between album one and album six? Of course. Like the the work progress, the, you pr- know? the production, the the vocals, the the vibes, the women, the money. Yeah, for sure. And how would how would y'all describe y'all sound? My like if somebody like to, for me, I just met y'all, and you know. I call it I call it like like a a soundtrack to a to a party that go to an after party and then when you wake up in the morning you got something to wake up to you know what I'm saying it's a soundtrack of life you feel me so in life you got different moments you got different feelings you got different things you go through so my music is to set each tone each mood that you in you know what I'm saying so I call it mood music you know what I'm saying like the, the mood gonna get changed no matter how you want it to be I got a song for it. Okay. Facts. I'm with them. Like, I don't know, just setting the tone of whatever mood, man. And, like, I still progress to this day. I'm still getting better but every time I go in there. So, for me, it's just the growth. And I'm, I'm shocking myself still. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Keep finding yourself. Take time. You Definitely. Know what I'm saying? And that's what we didn't put in. Definitely. So, you said the women, the money, and everything like that. How y'all dealing with that? Especially with being on tour. Uh, I mean, because you see rappers every day, they get they get hemmed up by the women and and you know the, the chain sense snatches sense. and and you know all that. So how are y'all dealing with it? Uh, we having daily meetings. You feel me? Like you know what I'm saying whatever happened the last tour won't happen this tour. You feel me? We never get caught lacking because we militant minded already. So what I don't see, my brother Wood gonna see. What Wood don't see, Kane gonna see. Now we got Doughboy Juice with us. Whatever. We don't see, he gonna see. Facts. You feel me? So generation after generation, you gotta each one teach one. You feel what I'm saying? So when you see women that's around trying to set you up or women that's coming around for just to catch the vibes, you gotta Facts. be able to, you know, put that over there and that over there. And some things you sometimes you gotta just go in and go out. We ain't even staying in the town. After the show, bags in the trunk, we sliding up out of there. We're not even spending the night in your town. Which is crazy. You feel me? Can't you gotta know where you at. Cause I was talking, I was talking to y'all's camp, and I was like, "Yeah, you know, usually I do, my, I do the shows around eight, you know, what I'm saying or whatever like that. We ain't gonna be there in long, twenty four hours. I'm like, damn, they in and out. Got to move like that. I respect that's, it. That's how you stay, you stay healthy, you stay living. You know, go back home. To, the job is always to get back home to the family. You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. So whatever that entails, whatever that takes, that's what we doing. Okay, let's talk about this. How many? Cause you said you had some features. What has been your dopest feature so far on both occasions? Uh, I could say um, me and Kane got a hard one called uh, Fast Cars. And honestly, man, it be I like all my features I've, did, I've done. And most of them has been real close with built relationships, too. Um, so it is really be up for the fans or for you to choose you know, each his own. But I like them all. Okay, then. Well, you know, I'm a Street is X, baby. I grew up in the Street is X. I don't know if you know what Street is X is, but that's 2 Chains, Travis Porter, Schooly, Bank Road, Fresh, Dolph. You know what I'm saying? That's my family. So, Waka Flocka, like, those people I grew up around and, you know, 08, 09, on the road with them. You feel me? So, oh, wow. my biggest song to this date would be Shake It, and I would say that because the women love it. The club promoters love it. They keep booking me. You feel me? It's yeah. making me money yeah. on a weekly. You feel me? So I would say Shake It featuring Strap the Fool from Travis Porter. That's my biggest song right now. Now you just said street exec. Like mm-hmm. so you've been around them your whole life or like Well, my two of my cousins is in Travis Porter, so I leave from Travis Porter. His mama is my auntie, first we first cousins. You know what I'm saying? Quez from Travis Porter, cousin by marriage. Mm-hmm. Still the same shit in the streets. <laughs> you we grew up we slept in the same bed, you feel me? Like like Grew up from little kids, so like, yeah, that's, that's my real family. So like, that's what I'm saying. I take this shit a lot more serious than a lot of people you gonna meet because it's been our life. We, I went to the strip club for the first time at 15. 
So ain't nothing I ain't seen. You feel what I'm saying? Like when it come to women and niggas trying to back door and shit like that. Like we grew up like that. We grew up real militant. So we don't take none of this shit for granted. That is wild. Mm-hmm. Have you found it a little easier by, you know how they say it's not what you know, it's who you know? A thousand percent. Okay. Because so. you, you could be the most talented person in the world and not go nowhere. Just because... Ain't nobody vouching for you. Ain't nobody putting. You see how we walking in here? You ain't know who he is. Somebody supposed to already had a whole uh, EPK. Uh, uh. You feel what I'm saying? You supposed to know me. Like you supposed to be like embrace me. Like I'm your family when I walk in this motherfucker. You okay, feel what man. I'm saying? Like that. It should be already understood who you talking to before you walk in there because it, the respect level is different. Yeah. True if I if I brought if I brought goddamn any of them people I just named in here, you not needing to know, play their song before that. You know they music already. You feel that what I'm saying? True. So the conversation just got to get different. Yeah. Okay. Don't yeah, don't. Yeah, I do more actions than talking because that talking shit don't mean nothing to me. You got to show me. If you don't show me all that talking, it's gonna go in one ear and out the other. Cause I don't seen it all. I don't see niggas get fucked over by managers and all kind of shit for millions of dollars. So. When you talk to me, you got to talk to me a little bit different than you talk to the little, the little Ray Rays and shit like that. I understand yeah. that. I understand that. You respect this shit. I understand that. Mm-hmm. So, another question back in, you know, what what is next? Like, what is the bigger, the big goal for you? I know you said generational wealth, and I yeah. know you said pass it on and stuff like that. Well, I'm honestly working on another TV show with MTV right now. You know, I ain't going to say no names or the show or nothing like that, but... This will be my second round with MTV, VH1, whole Viacom shit. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna, I already went viral once with them, been in Africa, Costa Rica, you name it. We we been on there. You know what I'm saying? The ratings did so well, they want me to come back and do a full series. So you will see Light Skin Bobby on MTV again real soon. Stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna take that and take it to the movies, get these endorsement deals. You feel me? Like it's about revenue, residual income. Getting that, getting that real estate shit going. You know what I'm saying? You know the crazy Flipping thing? Flipping it. The crazy thing about Keeping talking it. to you right now, it's kind of weird because, like you were saying, you know, EBKs and stuff like that, it's it's different. It's different for me because I, I've been through that. Like, I've had the EPKs, I've done the tours and stuff like that, and I've had everything set up. So when I do the show with the local artist and explaining that to them, it's more of a teaching moment. But meeting somebody that already kind of has everything compacted together ready like boom 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 it's different it's, it, it's different it's hard to ask or preach or teach anything when somebody already knows it's already probably been way through way more especially costa rica and africa and everything like that that's why i've been asking the question i'm just like man i definitely got to do more research on you i gotta look you up especially mtv you getting your acting bag at this point you know what i'm saying I, I like that i like that for real for real you know what i'm saying so any more actors Actually, I just dropped a hood movie with JT the Bigger Figure. Mm. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? You That's check hard. that out right now. Stand on Business 2, the movie. I got a tape also out from the drop coming out, Stand on Business 2. My first tape went crazy. I had Snoop Dogg and Drewski reposted. Got over 100,000 some plays on, on our platforms. Like, it's just stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's We climbing up the ladder, man. You know what I'm saying? This needed to happen, man. Like, because, mm-hmm. man, res- respect, man. Put something on it, man. For real, man, most of us been grinding, bro. Work hard. Being where y'all at right now, do do numbers excite y'all anymore? Nah. Mm-mm. What excite me is the the love that fans give. Cause you can, there's so many ways you can, you know, manipulate numbers nowadays. Yeah. It's that it's that love when you walk in the room. It's that girl that you used to can't get that's on your dick super hard now. It's like, nah, baby, hold on, I got ten other ones right here. Okay. Relax. Wait your turn, please. Okay, then. Thank you. Yeah. It's the rush for me. Mm-hmm. I just like to do I like. I, I love what I do. I like, I always been the type of person, like, working in a room and kind of, like, get attention when I don't, not trying. Yeah. I'm very, like, interactive and, you know what I'm saying, I'm energetic. I'm going to be myself. So on stage or in the mic or anything, I had to just get comfortable on it. Once I got comfortable, it's, it's lit. It's, it's been up since, like. Yeah. When you hear my music, you're going to understand. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely, because I feel his demeanor outside and inside is real laid back, looking around like, okay, yeah, it is what it is. 
feel like you're a hype man for some reason. I'm getting hype vibes. <laughs> like you just <laughs> one of them stage, shake your dreads, crazy. get on stage, and like, crazy. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do be on that too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like wh- whoever we are, yeah. like just the yeah, family. We, like, we got yeah, relationships. We, we definitely gonna like, turn it up. You yeah. feel me? Like I don't just you know I do saying? not know him. I do not. This is not my first time around here. Right. Wood. No, right. no. This is a family. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is what's going on. Okay, then. All right. What what has been the hardest thing as an artist for y'all? Um, I mean, just dodging the hate for real. After after you after, after you get past the hate, everything else is amazing. Cause the hate can stop you from reaching your potential if you allow it. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? You got to be a nigga that don't give a fuck. It's ten people in the audience, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. You got to get the same type of performance. Cause you never know who watching you. It might be some executives watching you that would just in the room on accident Mm -hmm. and that was your time to show okay i need to put a bag behind him okay you know what i'm saying so i always give the same type of energy same type of love to the people no matter who in the room because you never know who's who and i want you to go home be like man i gotta go follow that nigga matter of fact i need to follow him right now i shouldn't have to tell you on the mic to follow me you should know by what you just experienced i need to follow him what's his name again you feel me that's kind of, you got to leave people with an impact that they can't okay. get nowhere else. You can't get this shit nowhere else. This shit is homegrown. You feel okay. what I'm saying? For real, for real. What, what was the question again? Like, what's been the hardest thing as artists now? He said criticism. Dealing with criticism and really stepping. Yeah, it love haters. I ain't even talking about criticism. I'm talking about straight haters. Yeah, just straight. Oh. That uh, are, that'll try to around. stunt your growth because they know that you, who you are. Mm. So, because they want their artists or they want the, they mans to get on. They shitting on your name or doing some lame shit. You feel what I'm saying? They're trying to pull yeah, your leg yeah. while you climbing up the, the yeah, ladder. They, they, see the, they see the, they see the, they see, see the, they see it. They want to be it. But because they want to be it, they mm-hmm. going to hate on you and speak bad on your name. That's, Thanks. that's, that's way worse than criticism. Criticism helps you. Yep. Mm-hmm. A hater hurts you. Because they, they don't want you to, they don't even want you to live. A hater don't even want you to live for real. They want to hinder you. I think 757 has that issue with a couple artists or a couple media outlets and stuff like that. Exactly. Talk, Haters are everywhere. We talk about it all the time, like working together and stuff like that. But, you know, you always have that crab in a bucket mentality. Right. So we're trying to get out of that. And that's crazy. You know, I'm going to use y'all like this episode as an example for everybody else that's trying to get to y'all's level. Because I think this is what they need to see. Like, hey, you got to be ready. you got to move militant. you got to be a, on 100% every, every time. So, you know what I'm saying? I I respect it. I like it. I didn't look. I honestly was going to say, like, that too. I'm going with you 100% on that because it's happening to me now. For real big. Um, I say just to carry in the weight of all the people you was carrying before the music. Like, I already had a lot of responsibility before this music. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, just having to deal with that and learning how to have to leave people, some people behind and go get the bag and then secure it and come back for them. That's been a big thing way on me, you know what I'm saying? Because I've always been the type of guy to make some, get some done, you know what I'm saying? But putting yourself first, man, you got to learn to put yourself first. When you ain't no selfish, stingy, feel me type person, right. it's kind of hard. But when you go through them trials and tribulations and you see who got your back and you see what's really going on and what matter and don't, it'll get you right. Like right before in this story, I just got out. Just got out of what? I just got out of jail. Oh shit. Me too. Me <laughs> too. Okay. Me too. That's real shit. Me too. I'm, a, I'm four, I'm four I'm weeks out. Straight on the toe. I'm two you know days what I'm out. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell the folks that, cause the folks gonna oh, need wait, to feel wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we, 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 we not just gonna skip over that like it was just nothing. <laughs> four days, I mean, two days out and four weeks out. That's crazy. And y'all straight, straight to the tour. Right, yeah, stop, bro. You can't stop. That's real life situations, isolated situations. You handle that with the courts and get back to work. Facts. Do you feel like being an artist that puts a bigger target on your back for the law? Cause I see a lot of like. A lot of artists go out or they go out of town and stuff like that. And it's like the cops like, yeah, we're going to check his bus. We're going to check them cars because I know he got it on him. I mean, it's like that's part of being militant. You got to yeah. have a security guard. Mm-hmm. You got to have somebody that's going to say, hey, that's my strap. You gotta be if militant. you don't got that, then you you going to be in them situations that these niggas be in because they got followers that shouldn't be around them in the first place around them. If you ain't that's... taking no charge for me, I shouldn't have you in the car with me because I'm the money. If I go to jail, all this shit stop. Oh, that's real. Okay, then. Um, okay, so then. you got to watch, like how he said, you come back for those that was there for you. 
that's what you do. You get your cell phone and then go get each one, teach one. Go get the people Facts. that was holding you down when you was fucked up. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, if anything happened in, in on the road, we all fighting. This jury coming off. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? If it's a shootout, we all ready. That's how you gotta stay mind. Your mind gotta be. We stay ready, so we ain't gotta get ready. And then we don't even think about that shit, but we have conversations about it, so we know what to do if something happens. Facts. Then you know I'm 21, so new generation. I'm a little younger, so I'm a little bit more. I'm, I'm involving though, man. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to put the business first. Yeah, have one foot in, one foot out. It's not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and picking it up real fast too. So, man, this shit like chess, like checkers. You know what I'm saying? Chess, not checkers. Yeah. Facts. I'm definitely, I definitely agree with that, especially being young and being serious with your craft. Yeah, I can see how the world really want to corrupt, really want to watch you slip up. So you gotta, you gotta be straightforward. With especially that. when you with doing what you're actually rapping. I'm gonna honestly say that because yeah, it's a lot of rappers. You know what I'm saying? That are just rappers. They're just rappers. Mm. Uh, they just good at that, was, that was next up, like. But when you, you actually, what you preach, when you actually act, it, it's gonna this show. story is all you know. Like yeah. I don't know how to get on here and not say it's nothing different. else but be me. It's hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like you for that shit, and mm -hmm. that's what I mean by the hate. The hatred is is the most powerful thing in the world. Yes. You see people die every day off hatred alone. You okay. Know what I'm saying? So, do you ever feel like you'll run out of stories? Because hmm. I mean, you know, in the beginning, so. I know in the beginning when it, when, exactly. when an artist comes this out or whatever they have boom 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 jotting down jotting down. No, you down. hear me though. Look, this is a story. Everything is story. Everything you live, really everything everything you live is is a story. Here. Like like you gotta. I'm the type of person. I'm not one of those studio junkies where I go to the studio every day of the week. Right. I go live, experience things, and right. come back. You know what I'm saying? Like. If you stop living, then you run out of material. But if you continue to live and progress as you're going, mm -hmm. you're going to always have new women, new situations that happen yes. to you in life, new trips. We got, we got, this is a big ass world we live in. That's why I stand on this LSB worldwide shit because I'm not trying to stay in the mind of Atlanta. People in Atlanta only want to talk about Atlanta shit. I'm worldwide. You see me today and I'm gone the next day. Mm. So you never feel rushed by your fans or. People in your comments, they be like, hey, bro, when 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 the next album coming out? When when the next tape? It's coming? too much shit coming on. I, I, I'm never, I'm never, I'm never just idle. So if I ain't coming out with an album, I'm coming out with a video off the album I already got out. Mm. If I ain't putting out a video, I'm promoting the video I already got out. Shout out, light skin Bobby Coco Brown. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's yes. that's my R and B song. You feel me? That's for all my melanin, Coco Brown, Nubian queens. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta make sure we say that. Start there. Let's start there. I like how he's promoting. You feel what I'm he's saying? Promoting as he goes. He's yeah. A smart dude. Yeah. yeah. Smart dude. Yeah. You gotta make sure. Smart dude. You gotta make sure you the fans know. Okay, I'm letting this hang on you. I put that on Valentine's Day. I let I'm let this linger because this is a song that can go into the summer, until I'm ready to drop something else. I don't want to just drop just to say I'm dropping. That's what a lot of artists do. They flood you with no substance. Mm. Microwave music. Hope everybody's paying attention. This shit you gotta cook up in it's the pot. Game for real. You gotta let this shit marinate overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this shit, you can't just uh uh. This ain't no ready made meal right here. Man, yeah, because y'all said y'all do the R and B and and right. rap and stuff like that. Which which one's favorite? What's your favorite? Uh, you know it's crazy. I actually got a um. I'm gonna say an album. And I'm working on some R&B shit right now. I haven't dropped none yet. I just really got in that hang up probably like the last six months. And man, I love it. <laughs> so you singing or you harmonizing? Like you you like you like tanking it or I'm you hitting like you. Rod Wave? I'm going to show you. I, I, you know but Rod Wave and Tank can be in the same room. Yeah. They can, they can, they, they can compete. They, they just alike. Mm -hmm. No, no, I am, I'm not saying they not. They, they just alike. But what I'm saying, what, what Tank can do... Rod Wade could do if he wanted to. It, it, it's just what his fans are asking for. He right. keeps coming with that. And then look, yeah, I think you're gonna feel you're gonna feel what you feel. Exactly. Yeah. So have it the mo mood of it is how it's gonna come out. It ain't you just don't know exactly how it's gonna See, come out. Before I'm you the do nigga. It. I'm you the nigga. Hear it. I'm the nigga that's Once gonna make an R&B song, that, you know but I mean? you're not gonna feel like it's an R&B nigga in the room when when it's played. 
Facts, 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 facts. I'm facts. kicking so much. This P I'm kicking is for the women and for the niggas to pick up on what I'm saying facts. so they can say it in their own way. I'm not I'm not making no no songs dissing the niggas and I'm not making no song to dis, uh, disrespect the women. Facts. So everybody can grasp what I'm saying and it could work in everybody's favor. You get what I'm saying? So you got to make R&B music that's... Tank, niggas not playing Tank in their car. Nope. But you gonna play some light skin Bobby in your car with your bitch on the on the print on a passenger seat because you wanna be able to ride with the top down with a bad bitch with some cool shit on that's you know is R and B and you know she wet by the time y'all get to y'all location. That's what we doing. We not doing no so overly sexual shit where you only can play for only women. We got something for everybody so at the making, same time. You making music to get women pregnant, basically. So Immediately. They got to send you the bill then. Immediately. Okay then. Immediately. <laughs> I'm just making sure we have to save. And Immediately. And I, I, I couldn't have said it even even better. I could have said it even, you know what I'm saying? I'm with them. That's how my music is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like. I ain't on no goddamn. Pretty Ricky pretty, shit. Yeah. Nah, we ain't on that. We you had to hear it though, because guess what? I'm from Alabama. He's from Atlanta. So I just different sound. I sounds. know the sounds got to be different. That's it's, crazy. It is. That, that, that's I, I gotta, gotta do crazy. it. Look, we got my catalog right here. You can pull up um what we wanna play. You can put light skin Bobby my way just to get a little simple you know, and then you can go light skin Bobby motherfucking forbidden fruit. You know what I'm saying? You see that's Coco Brown. Can, can, right can, there. can we yeah. go to Coco Brown? Yeah, real let's quick. go Coco Brown. That's the newest one. Okay. Oh, you got two different versions. Radio yeah. version? Yeah, you gotta have a radio. Hey you hey I talk about this on the show when I'm before we start the show. Before we start the song, I tell artists that come on the show all the time, you got to have five different versions of your song. Clubs, radio, dirty, clean, everything. It's the first time I actually seen somebody actually do it. That's why. First time. So all artists, take this free game, free game episode. That's why. Facts. Let's go. First, but yes, Sersky. That is crazy. So you singing and rapping because it's like night and day with the switch, serenade and three phones. I can only imagine the story behind that. So it's just like you get hood <laughs> and you get you get you get both. You get what I'm saying? It ain't no it's, put me in a box. You can't put me in a box, and that allows dope boy Juice to pull up and get on the track with me easily because I'm not. He not saying, damn, Bobby only saying, I got to do an R&B record. No, you can do it however we feeling, whatever vibe we got. It didn't look how you made the company say you from the hood or from the I look at it like this, it's from when you start, it's growth. That's yeah. All. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody understanding the game right now, man. It's all about your growth. That street, that street shit ain't doing them, but locking niggas up. They ain't doing nothing but goddamn. Them niggas, gonna, them niggas hating on you. Yeah. Mm. Them niggas don't care for bumping yeah. your shit. They, let, us, let a bitch be bumping your shit, though. They'll right, follow right behind her. Man, that's why we do it for the women. Come on, man. The niggas gonna follow. Niggas gonna follow. That is true. That is true. So, stage performance-wise, 
Are y'all the type? Because, I mean, like, a song like this, I can this, see the lights is, beaming is, on you. This is when you bring the roses out. This is when you make sure all the women in the room got roses before the song come on. When you when you, that first melody hit, uh, they need to have roses in their hand. And if I can, chocolate dip them motherfuckers just to be offset a little you bit. The whole, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Them what, yeah. What chocolate dip? What are you, what are you talking about? You ain't never dipped the rose in chocolate before? Hell no, I ain't. Okay, cool. So we fucking a different type of women. No, you feel what I'm saying? God, These damn. is the grown... I like my women seasoned. You feel what I'm saying? It's seasoned. Yeah, okay, one that cook home cooked meals four times out of seven. Because them three days, they chilling. They kicking their feet up. But them four days, you're going to get the best meal of your life. Roses dipped in chocolate. Yes. Yo. Go there, man. Chocolate coated roses. That's crazy. Bobby said it first. That is crazy. So you you hitting the usher too? You I bring mean, him on I stage? mean, usher, usher really is a big influence. You know what I'm saying? Like. I went to uh, do Showtime at the Apollo when I was seven years old, singing nice and slow. So, you know, Usher's a big influence. That's Shout out Usher. Speaking of influences, like, who? I mean, I know you grew up around a lot of big heads, so I know those are probably big influences for you. Well, we, it's depending on what we're talking about, R&B or rap. We got, we got, Let's do we both. Got, we got, Let's do both for both of y'all. Let's we, do got, both. we got 112. Okay. Jagged Edge. Okay. Usher. Let's see who else from the A that's R and B Monica. <laughs> um I don't know, man. Atlanta, R and B, the nineties, Tony Braxton. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm a, I don't wanna just put it on all males because women women really, you know, Whitney Houston came to Atlanta. Bobby Brown came to Atlanta. You feel what I'm saying? We okay. the Mecca. Okay. At some point in your career you gotta come to Atlanta. Mm. Facts. That's just what it is. More me on the rap scene, I was like, I grew up a lot on like Tupac. I yeah, like Sersky. like I like the energy, man. Like I feel like I like if I hear you rap and I hear you sing, whatever you're doing, I can feel like if you believe yourself. Exactly. Like I gotta believe that you believe in yourself and you believe everything you're saying before I can even get a a, a feel of it. And Tupac brought a lot of that to me real fast. Uh, I like the Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? UGK. I, mm-hmm. I grew up on all the, like, that's all my little wave right here. OG shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. My mama kept Outcast. me in the loop. Okay, okay. Like, Tyree, Jamie Foxx. I grew up on yeah. all that. Like, that was my ski low. And if it's so crazy for them to see him go to acting and doing everything else, too. And I like their music. People don't really be understanding they was musicians, too. They wear a lot of hats. So, shout out to them, for sure. Exactly. Um, man, that's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I want to become an actor all of this like I'm a, I want to make my own series and movies want to be on Netflix Hulu I'm gonna make my I'm gonna pay my way exactly that's dope man okay that's dope the kind of hmm let me see let me see because I'm trying to make this a real teachable episode how do y'all feel about y'all scenes right now because you're from Atlanta you're from Alabama now how do you feel how's the Atlantic music scene and how's the Alabama music scene I mean, we we running the world like thirty years strong. You know what I'm saying? Future is one of the biggest artists in the world, ain't he? Come on now, we from it's, the same hood. I seen this post. Long I, six. You feel what I'm saying? I think it was before tw- him. It was Gucci. Yeah, I think it was Twenty One Savage who said it. He was just like Twenty One. You can't. Six. You can't tell. It's like some people in Atlanta. You can't tell them that uh, Future ain't bigger than Drake or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, see that. I mean, the world on proving that Future was bigger than Drake when Drake just got demolished by Kendra Lamar. Like, come on now, I've been waiting on that. Cause when you get the big head, I always root for the underdog. So when you get the big head, I automatically just don't want to see. And then we got we talking about substance, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go album for album, Kendra Lamar versus Drake's. What what one Drake album besides the one with the Weekend, which was the second album? hold a candle to anything Kendra ever put out. Okay. Album wise. You get what I'm saying? I talk so, about it all the so, time. So I am so, so Drake crazy. so Drake is just Canadian, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no hate towards him. I fuck with Drake. But it's just once you get the big head and you think you can't be touched. See he hurt so many careers. Meek Mill and Common and Joe Budden is a podcaster now. Uh, <laughs> Push a T <laughs> All these people that he don't hurt on the way, some kind of way. Now he got that real stain on his on his resume. 
that motherfucking video did 13 M's in one day. They not like us. So that lets you know the culture can switch on you at any time if you're not true to the culture. Okay. Whatever you do behind closed doors will come to the light. My mama said, whatever you do in the dark will come to the light. So you always got to hold and lay your foundation. So whatever you put down, people going to re respect it if it's real. You know what I'm saying? And Kendra been real since day one. Good Kid, Bad City, my one of my favorite albums of all time. Okay. Just keeping it 1,000. Alabama? Uh, what was the question one more time? It's like, how's the Alabama scene like right uh, now? Man, um... Like I say, um, we're on the rise right now, man. Like I say, we're the number one city right now to live in, in Alabama. Um, we got the Rocket City, the big one of the biggest arsenals. Like I say, um, people sleep on Huntsville, man, with the underdogs. Like I say, we always root for the underdogs. Um, we got some good talent in the city, bro. Some good talent. I just wish it's it's more of a competition thing in our city right now because it's like who wants to be the first to actually put the imprint to say they did it. But mm -hmm. like I say, I, I rooted for everybody that ever and still do. I still try to do futures with everybody in my city, try to combine, bring it together, man. And I, like I say, sometimes you got to focus on yourself if everybody else don't see the master plan. And that's what I'm kind of doing right now. Mm. Okay. Okay. Speaking of Kendrick and Drake and stuff like that, you know, they do the back and forth for just this records period. Have you ever had to do something like that? Mm -hmm. yeah, like if I go to y'all's catalog right now, is there a diss record coming from y'all? Or is that something that y'all don't I do? I feel like. No, I mean it's, it, it go on. It's been done. Yeah, it's been done, and it's still long going but on. We ain't naming it's just no what niggas. type of artist yeah. you are. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like that person get you out that character, or like I feel like I speak facts on this. Exactly. Okay. So if I'm speaking in somebody's situation, it's facts. Exactly. I, I spoke on it, and it's that. I'm not doing no dissing for no reply because you ain't gotta play. You know what's up. You know what's yeah, real. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I ain't gotta expose you to the world. We're doing to show my hand. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just say what it is and people will understand. They put the piece together. Because I see, like, in the industry right now, it's just like, oh, he said something, da 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 da. Somebody did this. And, like, they it feed works. off of it. It works. It works. But, it, it... but it's like, it's like, is it's it worth is it, is, is it worth it, though, at mm -hmm. the end? If you ain't got no real smoke with a nigga, what you on record putting this personal business? You trying to embarrass him? Mm -hmm. is, is, that's what it, that's what it really becomes. You just embarrassing him. Now he feel like he got to get some get back. Now two people gone, one person gone. You either dead or in jail. Mm -hmm. So I, my diss songs, the nigga who I put in a diss song, he know what he did. So I don't gotta say your name. You know what off the situation I'm talking about. You know what happened and why you where you at and where I'm at where I'm at. Yeah. So you know that's yeah. just how I, I keep you like that. I, I don't say no names, and that shit is rare because I'm only getting in that bag when you really piss me off. It take a lot to piss me off. Mm. And then everybody fuck with me on the tip of even if it's a love hate situation, cause it's gonna be a lot of that anyway. Why if we into it, man? Ain't no way I'm saying your name in no song. <laughs> I, am, I come from that cloth, like I give you no promo. I, I'm not even promo. I'm bound to do something to you when exactly. I see you. Exactly. I'm, I'm an aggressor. I'm a Virgo, Alpha. Like I'm a spiritual to the earth. I'm I'm cool, chill. But I if I feel like we have a problem, I want to understand what it is and let's get it handled. Mm -hmm. I ain't finna run from you. I don't want to get no clout off of you because I got my own shit going on. I always have. So whatever you got going on, I'm not even stunning you. Mm -hmm. So why would I diss you? Now, if I speak on something with you, I'm like, yeah, because he a little pun. He, he's a pawn. I can speak on it. He ain't talking about nothing. Okay. I, so I'm going to address this and let it be known right here. But if it's a problem, nah, I ain't going on, on, on no song. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking for an artist to kind of change up the game and, like, make new foundation rules because we, we're so based on – this. Yeah, going back and forth, mm. this and then like the dumb shit happens. Like you said, either dead in jail. And it gets over it gets overwhelming at a point, you know what I'm saying? Especially mm -hmm. for for people like us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the minorities out here, like it it, it burns, man. Yeah. It, it sucks. We be like, damn, y'all y'all had talent. For y'all right. city, y'all really could have did something good. Could have came together and, and made a change. So I'm glad y'all y'all on that y'all you know on that mental like yeah. No, it's the government, man. Yeah, it's, 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 let them do it to each other. Yeah, like they set the us up. They set the, uh, the rap game, the rap scene, everything up for the kids coming up out the hood and the projects and coming up from poverty. To the first thing to do to, to get notoriety is violence or the news on the time they give us free promo. Exactly. <sighs> Feel like Come you on, kill man. Somebody to get I had to go to crazy. jail. I got out of jail, man. I had so much love. 
And I'm just like, damn, man, take me to go to jail. Yeah, to get that love. love. Why I couldn't get this love? Had to make me a real one. Exactly. I thought, it, to me, getting caught was never the plan. Exactly. So, to exactly. get caught and then get, woo, woo, uh, you cheat? Like, no. Nah, that ain't what I did. The job for. is to get away. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. I'm very disappointed. Mm-hmm. So, they, you know what I'm saying? Like, they thinking, they, when I got out, they was expecting me to, who do, nah, I'm on tour where I need mm-hmm. to be. You hear me? Facts. Fuck all that That's shit, man. Deep. Do it for you. We're going to check out your catalog in just a little bit, but I want you to answer this question for me. I mean, you could think about it now or you can answer it straight up. What's one thing you would change in your music career right now? I say, honestly, everything is a, a taught experience, and you know what I'm saying? Everything you go through, you feel like it's for a reason, but if we had something to just change, I'd say, Kind of my, I think anybody would say some decisions, but I wouldn't say, like, I had reasons for everything. But now going through it and actually seeing, like, damn, I really could have just put that to the side for the moment and focused on this. Like, I had a situation, when, like, two years ago, I had a, a situation to get a feature from Skiller Baby. And I was going to get a feature with Skiller Baby. He had just dropped that Tay B style. And he was just now blowing up. I'm talking about, it was 100K, 150, 200K, something like that. And, man, I folded the ball, man, because I was so deep in this over here in the streets and making money. And woo, woo, he was going to show me love, give me a feature for 500 Damn. Swear to God. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Not you know what I'm just saying? And choices and opportunities, you know what I'm saying? Make the most out of every opportunity. So that's what it all come down to. I should have made the, some opportunities I missed out on, you know what I'm saying? But it's plenty more to come. Exactly. Everything happened for a reason. Exactly. I like that. If I had to change anything, I mean, it's just people that are around you that you know that ain't good for you, but you keep them around because you got love for them. Thanks. I mean, I'm I'm actively changing shit. My circle is not my circle that I had last year or the, the last few months. Like, people get in my life, stay for a season, and then, you know, it's time to regroup and, and, and put the shit together a different way because once you see, when you're in real life situation and the person that, you call your right hand man or somebody that you will go to go go and get into it over yes. ain't doing the same thing in return and then the number one reason is oh, money or women sure. you feel me you got to switch it up because ain't no amount of money ain't no woman in this world will make me switch up on my mans that's my real mans that i i know that's gonna be right for me i ain't no amount of money for it ain't no bad or bitch baddest bitch for that you feel what i'm saying so it's just about your mentality you know what i'm saying and the older i get the more i see that motherfuckers be worried about the wrong shit they ain't even worried about rent due on the first every month they worried mm-hmm. about some shoes or, or taking a bitch out of some shit getting that new belt or something like I, I ain't never been on that okay for sure i usually ask artists that just to see because sometimes you have people come in here and they be cocky they be cocky. I don't need to fix nothing. I ain't, everything perfect. Nah, that's I a like facade. That. That's a facade, though. That's but the I, ones that say shit like that be insecure for real. Because mm-hmm. they don't want you to know what's really inside that's going to make you look at them a ways. But a real true nigga is going to look you in your eyes and tell you, like, what you see is what you get. Mm. And I'm I'm not afraid of my flaws because my flaws is what make me as a man as well. Everything, it's, a, it's a total package. Yep. Sometimes rappers... Um, hide their truth mm-hmm. and the raps and we'll do but artists he had to understand like I said come from growth mm-hmm. you're gonna understand you have to open up to the to the music man that's when you truly understand who you are with the game exactly I, I, I told you like if you go to my catalog right now and everything I post we, about, just we, yeah, we about to do it do right that. now all of it is more of my street life and everything which I always had passion put my heart in but I have to learn it was something I, I was missing yeah, yeah, yeah. What you want me to speed it up? My, that's why I do the interviews, man. I'm so, but, have, but yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. What we gonna do? We gonna play his. I'm sorry, bro. That's my bad. I, I tell I tell them all the time, man. My interviews usually two hours. I'm trying to compact it. My bad, G. My bad. Nah, it's all good, bro. As long as, long as the message is made, that's all we came for. Facts. D O P E. Let me, let me, let me. He said what? D O P E B O R, dope boy. 
Okay. Yeah, because Facebook put juice. I got a tape, man. Bob, I got you. Yeah, I got I'm some tape. I'm out of down. This is it right here? Right now while we here. Yeah, I ain't even going to wait. That's right okay. That's, boom. We're going to listen. One, we're going to get one song, ladies and gentlemen. And y'all going to have to do y'all's due diligence like I am. And, and look him up. Look his catalog up. Which one? What, what, what are we doing? Okay, you can go to that standing on business right there right quick. Standing on business. Intro. All That's right. right. Uh, Whenever it's pressure, hop out of the car, my brother will bless. Shot certified steppers, they call me the devil. Drop it back, get a whack with no weed. While I'm get out the lean, we standing on beat. When we step on the scene, while I'm getting money, they watching my pockets, they waiting for me to slip up, but I'm patient. Can't wait to shit on them. Fuck all the off, they just hate. He just mad cause it's been stalking pages. If I wanna fuck with, I'm just gonna fuck on the face. Take care, yeah, I do the race. Ain't gotta talk about murder, we get to the bread. Young nigga came up off a of 10. I had to learn how to flip it and get it. Young nigga pop it, bitch, turned to my city. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, we standing on business, nigga. We standing on business, nigga. Uh, 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 we standing on business, nigga. We standing on business, nigga. Uh, 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 we standing on business, nigga. Uh, 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 nigga. Uh, 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 we standing on business, nigga. We really them youngest that came out the block with them shoes. No type when we don't do computers. But we skirt off, you know ain't no chasing. Spin a nigga block, let that bitch get the quake. And I just got the drop, whole time I'm in Texas. Hit way the gang, all my niggas be stepping. Nigga, throw up your gang, nigga, what is you ripping? We said a trend and these little niggas follow. Showing my ass, remember days in the stolo. You can't be trusted, so I'm riding solo. I talk to the devil, might think I'm a gummo. But I just begun and I'm just getting started. We standing no business while we in the park. That pussy get wet when I hit, go retard. These rap niggas capping, they hitting they target. While I'm on a flight on the way to the moon, I get geeked out them perks, but it don't ease the pain. Sometimes reminisce on the days we was broke. We got off our ass and said something had to change. Yeah, we run the city, you can't fuck around. No, my head is mad, better stay in your lane. Yeah, beat up the chop, ain't got time for no pussy. If it ain't about money, we don't entertain. Ha, ha, ha. We standing on business, nigga. Ha, 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 ha. We standing on business, nigga. Ha, 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 ha. We standing on business, nigga. No business, bitch. Ha, ha. I'm standing on business, I'm ten toe down, I'm head first just by my loyalty. I kicked the hoe out, she making me mad, I'm high off the drink, she annoying me. I'm getting this bread as my specialty. Broke nigga, he cannot sit next to me. We standing on business, bitch, make the bowls disappear, do magic tricks. Getting money, you can call me Mitch, ayy, back in the days, I ain't never had shit. Got that shit on, I look like a lick off the purse, I'm itching, I feel like a tick. Got a white boy, his name Nick, got a whole lot of knives and a whole lot of sticks. You can get snapped just like a twig, can't name a nigga, play me like a bitch. In the trap, I'm Mr. Incredible. I'm fucking the good off of edible. You can't get no friend, you ain't credible. She eat up the dick in my testicles. And I stay strong just like a diaper. Look her on the roof trying to snipe him. Can't fuck with that bitch cause she trifling. Niggas broke, I don't see what the hype is. Ha. And no business, bitch. Ha. I gotta say, before we wrap it up, y'all definitely talented. Definitely know what y'all got, you know, got going on. And y'all strictly about business, and I like it. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna have to tweak the show just a little bit, just for, just for artists like y'all, man. Y'all, y'all really put me on one today. Um, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to check out all all their catalogs. Check them out on Instagram. Check them out on the tour tonight. We outside tour, and you know what I'm saying. In next city, where y'all gonna be in? We got a uh, Washington, Washington D.C. Okay. and Baltimore up next. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. I, I want to say bless y'all for y'all, you know, y'all tires. Because them, uh, them potholes going to be ridiculous in DC <laughs> and Baltimore. I already know how that shit go. Um, and like I said, man, I definitely, this is just part one because I need individual interviews. I need my two hours next time. <laughs> say less. I need yeah. my two hours. We're going to put it together. Yeah, because y'all got a story and I need it. I need it. But till next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the show. You already know.